Okay, I'm gonna go down first. Then. All right, women. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Give me the phone. Let me call out here. No, no, I want to see this happen naturally. officer who was also a Navy service member returned from his deployment in the Middle East tonight got a warm greeting from his family and fellow officers Josh Cassio is here now quite a remarkable guy we hear yeah you talk about a hometown hero you name it officer Christopher Gibbs does it patrol officer check SWAT team check 20 plus year naval career triple check this guy has made a career out of helping others whether he's here or far far away over there Pinellas Park police officer Christopher Gibbs is dedicated to civil service. I just have this insatiable need to want to help people and serve my community. He returned home Wednesday after doing a year in the Middle East helping to provide defense for U.S. ships at sea. Gibbs is a senior chief master at arms in the U.S. Navy, serving for two decades. This was his fifth deployment. I do miss work, but... Uh... I miss the time I spend with my wife. I miss hanging out with friends and family and uh, relaxing. Very excited to have a home, to be back, get back to our normal routine and normal jobs and normal lives. Normal for Officer Gibbs means continuing to do what he does best. That's help and serve others. He's been a patrol officer with Pinellas Park for four years. He has a role on the sometimes dangerous SWAT team as well. My military experience... Uh 20 years in, uh, it's, it carries over into the police department when I deal with people every day. We're very proud of Officer Gibbs. He's uh, served this country well, he's served our community well, and we're just thrilled we're getting him back. Gibbs says he's looking forward to dinner at home with his family most, and plans to be back on patrol as soon as possible. It is not always easy, uh, but he does it very well, and we do it very well uh, as a married couple, and uh, I'm very, very proud of him and all of his accomplishments. Family, community, and country. It's just just at the office for this hometown hero. And the chief says he has several officers who are in the reserves. He says he doesn't worry too much when they're deployed because they're all well trained and they all have very good heads on their shoulders. He has the utmost confidence in all of them. Back to you, I Mark. bet he does. That is a leader right there yeah. and a hero. Josh, thanks very much. Pinellas Park Police welcomed home a military hero last night. Officers lined up along the walls of Tampa International Airport as Officer Christopher Gibbs returned from his year-long deployment in the Middle East. Officer Gibbs is the senior chief master at arms in the United States Navy, and he served for 21 years. He's been with the Pinellas Park Police Department since 2012. Welcome home. These moments are special because a room full of Hazel Dell Elementary students honored our veterans. They may not have known some of them. But through this program, they learned the service they made for our country should be recognized. Jack 
and everyone here today became a part of a touching moment between a mom and her daughter. At this time, we would like to welcome a very special guest. Who had no idea Petty Officer 2nd Class Laura Endicott was back from her five-month deployment aboard the USS Baton. Petty Officer 2nd Class Endicott has served eight and a half years in our military. She worked for the Air Force, the Marines, the Army, and now the Navy. It's so nice to see all the, the, the other veterans, the actual veterans here. Every single one of them sacrificed a lot for us. For this mom, being away from her daughter has been tough. Just talking to her and seeing her. <laughs> Not on a daily basis is hard. Emails and pictures got both of them through it. But holding each other today, showing their love, makes it so much better. There you go. Okay, that's a really good shot. That's really good. Karen's right. Um, this was awesome. Yeah, oh it was. My oh my gosh. <laughs> That's amazing. Wait till dad. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Uh, my flight got in around 10. Oh, you should have called. No, she shouldn't have. That was worth it. Yes. That was, that totally was... worth it. Oh. Okay, we need to find a way to get that in because the back is pretty full. Okay. And I'm going to pause to stop the video now. Well, for the past six months, Lieutenant Paul Carroll has been overseas, but he is home now. And we were there when his son got the big surprise. Yeah, we ran the story initially on Friday, but on Veterans Day, we wanted to run it again, partly because it is so special and partly because, well, we could just run one of these every day yeah, and, we sure and watch could. it over and over again. Here's News Force Nigel Robertson with the surprise. Just look at him. Josh Carroll, an eighth grader at Lead Academy in Greenville, has no idea what is about to happen. His mother, however, does. Jamon Williams. You see, Josh thinks he is just at another end of the nine weeks awards program, but what he doesn't know is just outside the cafeteria. Yeah, we're going to try to pull it off. He thinks I'm coming home in about three weeks. Yep, his dad, Lieutenant Paul Carroll, is home from Afghanistan. Mom and the school staff planned the whole surprise. Today we also want to pay honor and tribute to another type of service. Now the moment is just seconds away. The final award is for service to your country. Josh and his mom are called up in front of the whole school. Now just watch and listen to what happens next. Please make welcome back home First Lieutenant. <laughs> Dad and son together again. Nigel Robertson, WIFF News 4, Greenville. Well, wow, there's some there's some raw emotion for you. I wanted to talk after just, this. That is just fantastic. Mm. And apparently the surprises continued. Yeah. Oh my goodness. 
Friday night, First Lieutenant Carroll's two other sons also came home from the Citadel for the weekend. They also had no idea that their dad would be there waiting for them. <laughs> and I got it all on camera. And you want to do surprise to me? Take it in your tail. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. <laughs> What's up, babe? You know Ryan. Hi, sweetheart. How are you? I see how proud she is. Oh, and you wanted to give me a surprise, Rachel. This is your surprise, Rachel. Take it back. <laughs> Okay, we have one more surprise, Rich. Rich, we got one more surprise. He's leaving tomorrow. He's only here for a day. Make the most of it. So you're gonna have to make the most of it. He's leaving tomorrow. Back to Iraq. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just getting back my boy, my son, that, that just means the world to me. Just getting him back home. Like I said, I, I love my job that I do, but when, when I don't have your family together, it makes it hard. So now my family's whole again. Hey, it's me, Harrell. I'm walking to my gate right now. I'm in the airport. Going home to Los Angeles. Haven't been home in about a year and four months. I'm a little nervous because I've been planning this for months and I wanted it to be a surprise but of course a couple days before I'm supposed to leave um, they print an article in the newspaper about lone soldiers going home and I just happened to be in that article which is right here That's my picture. Everyone's staring at me right now because I'm doing this in the middle of the airport. And so, yeah, going home to Los Angeles. Oh, so, anyways, I'm a little worried because my mom posted it up on Facebook, of course, uh, the newspaper article. So, hopefully, I'm hoping no one knows I'm coming home right now. I've kept it a secret for very long. Um, I'm sure everyone will still be surprised. And yeah, I'm excited, so let's do this. Go into my gate. Just landed in LA! Woo! DJ picked me up from the airport. It's my first time here in a year and three months. And uh, it's gonna be amazing. Hi, Mom, can I borrow your car keys, please? <laughs> oh, my God!
But seriously, can I buy you a car, Keats? <laughs> Got her good. Dad, can you help us with the groceries, please? Help you with the groceries? Can you help us with the groceries? Oh, please? man! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man! <laughs> Help us with the groceries, please. <laughs> Who is this talking to me right now? <laughs> Mind if I sit here? So, um, so this is just something special, and we're going to send this to him in a couple of weeks, just because he misses a lot of stuff. So um, we thought that this would be really special. Can you guys all scoot, scooch in together? We'll tell you again. We'll tell you again what this is. Everybody scooch in. Scoot back a little bit. Tegan, turn around. Okay. Face the camera. So, so this is what. Listen, this is what everybody's going to say. You're going to say. Hi, you're going to say, Sergeant Skipworth, come home soon. On three. Nice and loud, we're cheerleaders. Ready? One, two, three. Sergeant Skipworth, come home soon! Woo! All right. Thank you. No, it's okay. No, no, girls, go back down. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. What's in that come here? Uh -huh. <laughs> Is that a good surprise? Yeah. yeah.